Hello Jack and Brian, this is John Allen from New York. I've spent the week uh, cleaning out the uh, front end of the car, all the components that were there, uh, putting them away neatly so that I can find them the next time. And I'm basically doing it all over again in this car, taking it down to the bare bones and uh, it's, it's not going to just take a week or so. It's actually, there's a lot more to it. I'm, I'm, I'm putting uh, new components in and uh, I hope uh, at, at the end of this I can, I can say that I've done two EVs. Uh, however, uh, I'll only have one to show for it. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that doesn't really matter, but uh, it would be nice to have two to show for it, the amount of work I'm putting into it. Let's take a look. I've removed most of the stuff out of the uh, engine compartment or the motor compartment. As you can see, I've been getting all the wiring out, trying to make uh, heads or tails of everything that I've got there, or that I had in there. I'm trying to keep, keep it well sorted so that when it comes to putting it all back, I know where I am. I'm just about to remove this power steering pump which has been underneath the battery rack over here. I'm also removing the whole cooling system, there's the reservoir. So I'm just trying to get it to a point where I can lift out the motor and the transmission so that I can make all the changes that I'm making to that, putting the clutch back in, etc. So in order to remove the transaxles, I'm going to refresh my memory using the Haynes Repair Manual. And uh, kind of gives you a guide, you know, picture guide on how to do stuff. It, it's quite helpful. Um, you know, for someone that doesn't do this uh, on a regular basis, it's quite important to have, have something like this that looks over your shoulder a little bit and tells you what to undo in order to get the job the job done and, uh, and also tells you which tools you have to go and buy in order to do it there's a few specialty tools like removing the wheel nut has a special tool that you have to get and stuff like that it's, uh, it's quite important to to get a little idea of, of what you're doing if you've never done this before um, so there I'm draining the oil out of the gearbox so that I can then remove the transaxle up here, pull that out of there and then one on the other side. So in order to remove the transaxle I have to get this cotter pin out here and then remove this nut cover and then I can undo that wheel nut which will allow me to disassemble this off the end of that transaxle. Um, that's my next thing that I have to get done. So I'm going to remove that pin, get this off and undo that nut. Okay, there's that cover off. Now I can get my special tool onto this nut to remove that. Easy, beautiful. It helps to have something like this. Really huge piece of pipe. Which I open up. It's got the wheel nut off. Don't need the cover anymore. Except for the other side. So I have the drive axle disconnected now from the wheel, and um, all I have to do now is pull it out of the transmission. My next thing to do, uh, and also remove the one on the other side as well. So I'm going to go ahead and undo the other side next, I think. Santa arrived disguised as a FedEx uh, delivery man and uh, brought something for the EV. So I thought we'd uh, open it up and take a look. 
Let's take a look. So this is from uh, Brian at Fast Breaks. Um, I ordered them some time ago, uh, but apparently the research and development took some time. And uh, he had some delay, delay with getting parts, bits and pieces. Uh, anyway, eventually they arrived. And here they are. So this is um, really neat. It's pretty exciting. Let's take a look over here. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a, a pretty lightweight caliper. Oh, very nice. That's very nice indeed. Yep, that's a Willwood caliper. So that's nice. So that must be the second one. And what do we have here? We'll look at that in a minute, but that's a ticket. Ah, oh, yes! New rotor. Very nice. Okay, that's quite a bit. So they've increased in size, in diameter, because I was having a little, uh, little worry with that extra weight that I had. Oh, these are the pads. Very nice. Oh. Okay. Brackets. So, so that's nicely put together. There's some instructions in here how to put it all together. And there's the other caliper. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I think there's some hoses in here that play different shipment. Those are very pretty. Always very exciting. Yeah. So I've just done a, a, a loose fitting of the uh, new discs here, the new rotors with the Willwood calipers. I just wanted to see if, um, if this is actually going to fit. And I'm going to just get the, the tire now, the wheel, and put that on and just see if it's all going to work, that this doesn't interfere with the rims, etc. So I'm just going to have a quick look at that. Just want to clear it, you know, they just got delivered by Santa and I just want to make sure that they all work um, so that I don't have, you know, to wait in case they don't fit uh, when I get to putting the car back on the road. <laughs> That's good. That's good clearance from the calipers to the wheel rim. It's a bit of clearance all the way around. So that was the week. Uh, it was exciting getting the, the new brakes and uh, it's, it's great getting further and deeper into the vehicle, uh, getting it all cleared out, so basically starting all over again. Um, and that's all I have for you this week. So that's me, John Allen, from New York for EVTV. Have another great week.